Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to look at Craig's Precision Track and Stop System. The system includes four two-foot track sections, two self-adhesive tapes, a swing stop, and a production stop, along with the mounting screws to install the four two-foot track sections. In my last shop I had a pretty impressive miter saw station and I will be building a new one and utilizing Craig's uh, Precision Track and Stop System. In the last shop, I had a total cut length uh, stop system on the left-hand side wing of five feet. On the right-hand side, I did not have any stops or fence system to where it was just open counter space. It worked out nice, but I found it cluttered a lot of the area up on the right-hand side of the wing. Um, the production stop is um, designed for heavy use in a production setting. Uh, it, it's an industrial environment. It has dual uh, lenses to uh, use on both sides of your saw. So it can be used on the left hand side or the right hand side. Uh, it securely attaches and there's, very, there, there's zero give at all. As long as your wings and the fence system that you build is adequately tied down to your uh, um, system itself, it's not going anywhere. The swing stop is, allows the user for precise stop block, uh, a, a, a precise stop block, but yet it swings out of the way uh, when you don't need it. You can either flip it up with your hand or simply push the wood against the curved face and it will flip up out of the way. You can square up the end and then it will fall back down when you pull the board away. You can butt it up and then make your cut. So what I like to do is set the stop to the length that I would like, uh, flip it up by pushing the board in, squaring off the end, letting it fall back down, and then pushing it up and getting my accurate stop block position and my material exactly the length I want. And it's very repeatable. Um, grab another board, flip it up, square, pop it down, boom, you're ready to go. The adhesive tapes are very easy to put on. The fence, uh, fence system has a little groove for it. So it's kind of like it's self-aligning, which is really nice to install. Um, it's very rigid. It's, it's kind of a T system, and it's designed to go very easily on a, a three-quarter inch board. Now, I have made this set of fence system here that is two and a quarter inches tall, and then the horizontal portion is six inches. And that was designed to go on a flat surface where my miter saw was actually recessed. I'll try to include um, some footage here that shows you that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to my next one, whether it's going to be raised above the actual cabinet surface or on the cabinet surface like I had in the last time. I really enjoyed the last one, so I might just do that as well. Uh, the mounting screws are pretty easy to uh, utilize. You do have to pre-drill your own um, on the backhand side, but they do include this little groove that allows you to um, start your drill bit exactly where you need it. The only confusing portion of this is maybe installing the um, center tape, or the, excuse me, the self-adhesive tapes. Now what I would do, or what I did actually, is um, I would set up a cut a exactly, let's just pick a number, 24 inches uh, piece of stock. I would pull my miter saw down, I would push it against the miter saw, and then I would mark it on the fence. And then I would place the 24 inch mark of the rule on the fence and roll it out to the right and then roll it out to the left. Now the uh, magnifying and line indicators on both the production stop and the swing stop are adjustable. Simply take a flathead screwdriver, loosen it up, and um, adjust it. Now this kit is has the miter saw station design in mind. It is, it, that's pro primarily what it's used for. Uh, I've seen people use it in crosscut sleds for their table saw, uh, fences on their drill press, other jigs and stuff where, a actually anywhere that you need repeatable actions, um, this is it. I encourage you to check out the workshopaddict.com website, uh, surf around the forum and see other blog posts. I also encourage you to check out our other social media. We're very active on Facebook, Instagram, etc. I'm Andy Glass. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.